Hey everybody, FunshineX here. Welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock 3. Uh, in between episodes, I moved a few things. So this room is now empty. What I told you, I was going to get rid of uh, a lot of the water meals and everything that we were using for create and instead use uh, the electric motors. However, the electric motors only provide about a thousand stress units, which isn't enough to run most of the machines I want to run. Um, at the speed I want to run them. So I don't think that's going to be possible. We are going to have to move to the boiler, which, hey, it's good. We can experience more of the mod. However, I did run a few things off here. Um, I moved our auto craft, or I moved our um, deployer set up here, and I've set it up for auto crafting. And this was a very tedious process, so I didn't want to do it on uh, video because the way I've done it, at least, <laughs> I don't have any belts. I was just trying this. I was like, this would be cool. I'm using uh, depots. Um, so I can say I want to craft uh, any of these and the input is just an iron ingot, a gold ingot, or a diamond. And it's going to output me the advanced processor, the improved, or the basic processor. Now what that does is that's just going to put the iron here and it's going to stamp it with the uh, this stuff, which is coming in from here. So we get the processor banding. All right, that's going to put it there and then it's going to be incomplete, right? So well, this importer is going to grab it, the step one. And then this exporter is going to put it back out. Such a stupid way to do it, I know. But I don't have to do belts. So I don't have to worry about, like, ro you know, roasting belts. Whatever. It was dumb. But it works, right? And the, then the stamps, this one pulls out step two. This one deploys step two. This one pulls out the full thing. Cool. <laughs> so it's automated, right? So I can craft... Um, what are we looking for? Uh these guys so let's make like 10 of these right and it's just gonna put those over here there it goes so punch that one punch that one pretty cool <laughs> so this <coughs> excuse me i'm so sorry this auto crafting was kind of dumb because it's like i could have just put a conveyor belt however there are a few recipes that require the thing to go like through multiple steps of this and that's where I, what I got to thinking was like, well, what if I just get a depot and I just keep pushing the thing back on the same depot whenever it needs certain stuff? Um, and so that's what I've got over here. This one is the precision mechanism. And that one's got to go through six times, remember? So here it pushes through the um, just a golden sheet. And then this one's going to either output step... Um, well, I guess this one right here is going to import step 1, 4, 7, 10, and 13. And then this one's got 2, 5, all that kind of stuff. So it actually will go through there, which is cool because I, I want a bunch of these precision things. Uh, I don't know the hotkey to, like, if I already have stuff, how do I craft it? I can't remember that hotkey. So I'll just take them out and do this. But let's get, like, four more of these because these are going to be pretty useful. But you can see it's going to push it down the assembly line here. And then as soon as it stops putting, yeah, see that one time, it just go ahead and put like a step two in here. So it doesn't matter what order it's in. It's always just going to get the right stuff, which I think is pretty cool. And I could have just done a conveyor belt and just then output like this one. It would get the beginning and then three, six, nine, and 12. But I don't know. I thought this was cool. Um... Yeah, that's there. I might replace it with a conveyor belt. Who knows? Okay, so that one's done. The other thing about this is sometimes this breaks. It doesn't actually make the precision mechanism after all the steps. It gets to the very end and it's like, nope, you get a golden sheet. <laughs> like, what? I wasted all those uh, parts, you know, the, the cogwheels, and that didn't even work. So that's kind of sucks. I think it can also just give you an iron ingot here, so I've got to watch for that as well. But it's most often it makes the full machine. All right, over here, this is my automated machine for the casings. So I can order andesite, copper, or brass. This thing's just keeping stripped oak log in here. Um, and then it's just only exporting those three. So, yeah, so this just puts on the andesite, copper, or brass. So I just have to make sure I either have brass or have stripped logs. I don't have a system that's actually going to mix that alloy or make the logs yet. Um, I can. I just haven't got that far. 
And then this is the one, so I don't have to keep making hammers. Uh, this will make plates for me. So it just puts in the ingot and this is the stamper uh, and it will come down and smash it. So that's cool. Um, let's show any of that. Do we need any plates? Let's go to only craftable stuff. Yeah, so let's like say we need like golden sheets, 10 more of those, go. There it goes, smash. Smash, cool. <laughs> so this is kind of how I'm working the automated systems. Um, they're all running off electric motors, running really slow. I could speed it up, but then it gets uh, um, overstressed. Looks like it can handle 32. This one could probably handle, yeah, this one's a 64 uh, and it's using 60 RF, whereas this one's only using 30. Anyway, let's get into the, the meat of this episode. Um, I would like to be able to go finish off the exploring. Um, however, I don't want to run 2,000 blocks or more out there and come back and then still have to run 2,000 more blocks to get back if I ever need it to. So I want to set up some kind of teleportation network so we can get back out there. Um, let me eat some chicken and get rid of this dumb stick. So you see I've got a bunch of wireless gates so that we can power stuff. Uh, we want to get, um, this is going to be an RF tools. Um, they have these dimensional matter receivers. So we want to make a few of these. Um, so I want to make one for my base, one for the normal dungeon, one for the nether, one for the, and I'm out of this blue stuff. I shouldn't be there. I have a ton. Uh, one for the ender and then one for the like silverfish thing, the, the boss dungeon that's in the very end. So we'll make these matter receivers. And it's actually been a little while since I have done RF tools teleportation. So hopefully I get this right. Um, but let's put this one just right here in the middle. Sounds good. Um, and then I need to go down underneath here and I can just put one of these ender gates and that should power it. Okay. So let's go back up and put this wood back. Okay, if I click on here, I can give it a name. So we'll just call this home and it's public and we'll add it. Oh, this is player access. Okay, never mind. We don't need to add it. This is to give, make it private or something. All right, it's got plenty of power. It's got a name. We're good. All right, so how can I actually teleport to this thing? Uh, we want to get a charged porter. So this is the normal charged porter. Uh, we might as well just upgrade it right to the advanced right away. And that'll let, let us pick where we're going. So if I, uh, let's see, I need to shift click. There we go. So I can say, how do we, do we need a dialing device of some sort to like tell it? I haven't used this in so long. I thought I just, oh, there we go. So I shift clicked on that receiver and now we can teleport to it. So I don't need all the other RF tool stuff if I'm just teleporting right to there. Um, so if I shift click on the sky, it's gonna tell me where it's going. And unfortunately there's all this like dimension that's at the end so I can barely even see that this is set to home. So if I rename this just to an H, you'll basically get one character. So let's make this our H. And then now I can see that it's going, nope, I can't even see that. <laughs> Let's do that, Let's do that again. Oh, yeah, so that one's going to H. Let's do that. <laughs> then we can uh, just have identifiers. Oh, there's a B like dropping crap over here. Um, can I just get them? Oh, it's probably too late with my bag. Hurry. There we go, got it. There's lots of bees. There's a bee there and there's another bee over there. My goodness, these things spawn so often. We got dark matter. Oh, that's beautiful. And a cool, pretty uh, bunch of other cool stuff. Okay, so now we need to go to our other locations and uh, we don't need quite this many gates. That's plenty. We need some of that and that's gonna go there. Cool. Let's, um, do I have reach? Repair, I do. I have some mega torches and some feral flare lanterns to get rid of bad guys. More torches, I think we should be good. Let's go on an adventure. 
Wrong way. Okay. Uh, I don't know. There's probably a faster way to get to where I've already been, but we're just going to sprint. Why does it say there's a skeleton here? Must be under me. I don't know. Here we go. Run, run, run. I need some music playing. Jump. Oh, fail. <laughs> Forgot to light all this place back up after we came out here to grab that zombie. Um, but yeah, this charge porter is always going to stay full because we have that um, charging device set up. Okay, I don't want to put the portal in here. Let's put it out here. Okay, get down here. And we'll put it right there. Okay. And give it some power. Cool. And then we can bind it. Oh, we're going to give it a name. This is going to be called D for dungeon. Cool. Shift click there. And now we can change between H and D. Cool. All right. And then over here somewhere where all the baddies are, we will go ahead and drop some of this stuff. So we'll get a mega torch out. That won't prevent all spawners from spawning guys, but it'll do a lot better. And then let's get uh, a feral something. Where's it gonna be hanging? Hello, right there, that's fine. So that'll light up a bunch of stuff for us and this'll keep guys from spawning. Okay, how is it looking over here? Silverfish, of course. Oh my goodness. Ah, freaking super powered one. Why didn't I upgrade my sword? Okay. How do I get rid of that spawner? I want to get rid of the silverfish spawner. I think it's right behind this wall. There it is. Okay, get rid of that guy. Hello. Turn into a bat, or are you just going to stand there? That's fine. Give him a lot of good stuff. Um. I don't know how safe it is in this room yet. <clears throat> oh, we should probably have our shield out, huh? That's the whole reason we got that. All right, this guy's got some kind of ability. Looks like he's just speed and he's bleeding. Actually, I think my sword makes them bleed. All right, can we get through this without dying? The looting is really working nice. He's got like some armor, okay. It's unfortunate these uh, spawners don't give us anything when we kill them. But, oh well. Does chest have anything in it? Oh, it's got more uh, Starbuncle. We'll probably need that. Oh, and a, a chemical bag. I think that's actually better than the backpack I'm using. How big is this? Uh, oops. Oh, yeah, this thing's huge. Okay, cool. That's great. We might switch to that. Um, but I think we're just going to start moving this way. So I'm going to... There's no... I don't have to walk here ever again, right? So I can just block this off. It's fine. Oh, I lost the rest of my andesite. All right, I don't want to accidentally teleport somewhere, so let's do that. Okay. All right, so now switch this to small tunnel. This could be bad. No, 
Oh, brigade, okay. Nope. Oh, this could be bad. Really? Oh, this guy's a, a xylophone skeleton. He's like dual wielding something. That was crazy. Oh, let's put another feral. Light it up. Please light it up. <laughs> Any day now. Lots of mobs are spawning. There it goes. It's starting to work. But I'm just seeing Creeper City around the corner. Holy crap. What was that all about? <laughs> Who just attacked that spider? YOLO. Let's do it. Oh, the babies are coming. I like that my sword makes them bleed. That's kind of cool. I knew you were somewhere. Oh, there are so many creepers down there. <laughs> Let's just go through this room really fast. Ooh, nice, more dark matter, it's brilliant. Cool. I'm gonna keep this guy. All right, we just continue down. All right, now we're past all the dungeons. So we should be safe to get out to the nether without any more distractions. Stop and eat every once in a while. Broken. I think this takes two to fully repair. Well, not even fully repair. That's crazy. Okay, so we're past now the first layer. We're into like a dungeon area almost now. Not a dungeon. Oh, that was that was bad. That's a big bottomless pit. 64 blocks deep. Wow. Um, so in here we'll find regular like vanilla generation. And so my uh, what is it called? Vein mining is not going to work as effective. So instead, I think we need to get out our laser, mining laser here. And I also need, where's my, this one. Put all this junk in there. Okay. Now we're just going to shoot this stuff. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I forgot I made it three by three. Uh, I don't need to make a 3x3, three three, so I think it, what do I hit, Z? There we go. It's whatever you bind it to. I would like it to be 1x2, <laughs> technically, but we'll just, whatever. We're doing 3x3. Three three. We got enough power, right? It should automatically refill. Yeah, cool. Ah. What happened here? This is pretty cool. <laughs> I love the magnet thing. You can just see all the particles like zooming to me. And it lights it up as we go. That's a brilliant part. But we've got like, you know, vanilla generation. So gold and clay and gravel. Oh, I that was a silver fish. Uranium. Okay, how far do we have to still go? Okay, I can see the nether in the distance. Not too much further. 
I think I'm gonna get rid of this. This is like making me walk short when I mine. Oh no, I guess you walk quiet or uh, you tiptoe when you've got the laser gun going anyway. I'm amazed we haven't found any vanilla caves. This is actually really cool. Oh, is this one? No, just just stuff on our way. This thing is so nice though. By far the best. Everyone wanted me to make diamond hammers, but this is much better. Oh, lapis. I don't have much of that. I should grab that. Oh, we finally found a cave at the very end. Is anything going to spawn in here? Not if I do this. Jump! Oh, I made it. That was brilliant. Okay. Just want to get the area around it real quick. Oh, I start to... We're getting... Oh, there we go. Let's go, another rack. All right, this is probably a good place to put, well, let's go a little bit further in. Because if we do come back to here, we don't really care about this part. We care about the dungeon. Uh, but we should probably start putting our nether rack in here. We can put our clay in there. Huh? Seems to be running a lot faster. Why am I running so much faster? I don't know. I mean, I know I have the stuff on my boots or on my chest, whatever, but it seems like it's going even faster now. Oh, and the, this thing just chews through another like like it's nothing. Okay, so we're in. We're into the blaze spawner. It should be right above us, I think. So let's go ahead and make a little area. Actually, I'm gonna a little bit out just to make sure I'm safe. Nothing will spawn. Okay, one more. Ah, too quick. All right, so I need to go back in here. Get one of you. One of you. Cool deal. Porter. Oops, I didn't uh, call this anything. Call this N for nether. Is it vanilla? Yeah, it's N. Sweet. Okay. How far out? Oh, pigmen spawn in here? At least they're not hostile. Oh, I didn't want to do that. That was a wrong thing to do. Oh, whatever. We can do it. It'll work. Oh, we actually found another dungeon. Okay. This looks scary. Um, I want to definitely put down one of these. I don't think lighting it up is going to do much. But hopefully that helps. And I'm at lava level. I think I might want to go up one. Oh, we got these guys. Uh, I've never faced these guys. They were added to Minecraft after my time. We got Blaze out there. Maybe I just want to go under this thing. <laughs> okay. Well, remember, this torch means dungeon ahead. Uh, but instead, we're just gonna come off here, go down under it. I'm a I'm a Care Bear, right? Oh, let's go a little bit lower. I think we're just gonna. All right, don't have to deal with any of you guys. Um, now there is a thing in Create called the blaze burner 
and you start with just this uh, empty blaze burner. And I think you just have to right click on a blaze or you put its head in here. I don't know. There's a big question mark. I have not done this mod, so I'm not sure. We'll figure it out together. Um, so we should probably get some of this stuff. Whoa, this looks scary. Okay, don't want to go in there. Get out of there. I don't want to do this dungeon until I've got fireproof. Like, we are going to make fireproof armor. <laughs> and I'm totally fine if you guys call me a Care Bear. That's why I'm Funshine, right? All right, so how far does this thing go? Okay, oh, we can already see the end. All right, this is not as far as I thought. Or thick, I thought, I guess. Oh, dang it, did it again. Don't fall down in there. Okay, I think I have more torches. Yep. And more of these. Dang it, my pick is too quick. I'm wasting so much durability on that. All right, we've got end. Uh, this is a time to use this. Oh, come on, destroy it. I don't know what it's doing, whatever. not giving me quest for this oh yeah we did okay so we got to the nether that gave us redstone repeater the dungeon gave us jelly babies and this gave us basic pipe upgrade cool all right so then we need to uh go a little bit further in here does this have an, an ender dungeon? And city, okay. This mines end stone much slower. Yeah, I can, I can almost catch up to it if I'm just walking. All right, we can just do this now. Much faster. <laughs> All right, is there anything on our map that looks like an end city? <laughs> Not yet. The end donut I think is pretty big. Well, good thing we brought lots of chicken and lots of repair tools, right? We we're mostly prepared. Obviously, we're not prepared to fight another dungeon, but as far as running around. Okay. We haven't found anything now. Yeah, we're we're at the end. So I think we'd have to probably go north or south to look for a city because this is now the next stuff. So let me light this up real quick. And then we'll put our teleporter in. I think we'll be done for as far as exploration. Okay. You come out. Alrighty. Seems good. We just need to make sure we bind this one. This one is called E. And 
and we're home. Cool, so if we wanna go back to the end, we just hit set and then go boom. And we whoosh. Nice. <laughs> and I can't remember if you can like, no, I thought you could just like mouse wheel to set different ones, but I think you have to shift click every time. What, why is shift clicking not working? Why can't I change my destination? Hello? Oh, you have to be in the air. If you're, touch, if you're aiming to block, it won't work, but. Okay, so let's go home. Probably using a little bit of power, but I honestly, I don't think we're ever gonna even realize how much power we are taking. Um, so, what do I wanna keep on us? All that stuff, okay. So this can all go. What else? Keep you. Keep you. This is probably how I should have done it. Just grab the things I want to stay in here. I need to separate bags like this. Alchemical bag will be I'll put crap in my backpack where I'll keep my tools that I need. Oops, shield. Card holder. Okay, the rest of the stuff's gone. Because if I put it into the ME system, I'm never going to find it. <laughs> we could put the teleporter in here because probably not going to use that a lot. Uh, another can go in there. Okay, so now what do we do with that stuff we just found? So we've got tons of netherrack, right? There we go. And if we crush it, no, use on this. That makes cinder flour, that doesn't seem useful. We can cook into bricks. Uh, we can compress it. Oh, there we can make the empty blaze burner. I wanna make one of those. That one had to have this, so. Oh, blaze burner, this thing. Okay. So we'll stick that in here and we'll go back to the end to get one. Um, what else can we make with netherrack that we didn't, couldn't before? Um, I just want to go to like, yeah, so we hammer it into crushed. I'm just going to see if there's anything else really very quick. No, so we're going to hammer it. And then we'll use the crushed netherrack to go into our wheels. And that'll give us our debris and some ichor. We don't get a ton. We don't need the cobalt, we already have that, but this is gonna be our process for that. So remember we had a setup, where did it go? Did I not? So I had an issue where I, I had to restore to a backup, but I swore I built a machine to crush uh, this stuff. Yeah. Where did that hammer go? <laughs> I remember there's a hammer. Oh, we're sitting on craftable. That's probably where it went. There it is. Okay, I was like, I know <laughs> there's a thing. And we want this ender drawer. And then we just need like a chest or something. Well, any drawer will really work. So again, put this here, and draw there, and this here. Okay, so if I take all of my netherrack that's in here, let's keep a little bit just in case we need it for other crafting. If I can put it in there, that should start smashing it. 
and give us that. Cool. Can this be compressed? We can. Compressed again and then hammered. We should probably do that. All right, take it back. Get rid of this. Oh, it was, it was sitting right there. Compacting drawer. I just need one, please. That's two. There we go. All right, will you compact this now? There we go. I don't know what it's doing, actually. <laughs> uh, let me take out all this. It didn't look like it was getting grabbing the compressed stuff, but if I do that, it has to. Let go of all this stuff, please. Okay, now we're cooking. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and this should be going over here, right? Oh, did we unbind it? I swore this was bound together, probably because we picked it up. If we left it in the world, it would have been fine. So let's get a linking tool. So I have to, let's see, shift, punch that. There we go. And then I just punch this block. Nope, shift, right click that block. Dang it, control punch, control, dang it. <laughs> I know it's a shift. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Did I just lose all that? Oh no, maybe it, maybe it bound it and it's, yeah, is it crushing this? Maybe. Oh, where did all my netherrack go? <laughs> Crap. <sighs> I think we lost it all. Don't go in there. Oh, don't go in there, please. Now I think we just lost that. This is working great. Where is my magnet? Okay, we got it. It's right there. Okay, this is the worst, like, interface ever, right? And I think it probably even told me. It's like, if you click this again... Let me take this compacting drawer, take a bunch of this, put that there, all this there. Actually, I'm just gonna take one nether rack right now, put you in there. All right, now shift, right click, shift, left click. Nope, shift, left click, shift, right click. There we go, my goodness. So now, can I lock this? Locked, okay. Well, not don't lock it, I wanna get you out of there. Now lock it. Put that in there. Put that in there. Pain in the butt. Okay. Oh my gosh. I hate this game, this mod. There, 
crushed netherrack. You're stuck in there and you can't come out. Um, this is how much urine, urinite, urine and night we got from however much we put in there, right? I can't remember any, how many stacks of uh, diorite we put in there. Or not diorite, deep slate. I think it was like f six stacks. I don't remember. All right, you're going to make anything? There we go. So we got some cobalt, but no, uh, no raw or uh, ancient debris. That was what we were looking for. I do want to speed this thing up if we're going to process a lot of this. It's just too slow. Any day. Okay, there we go. We got some ancient debris. So this stuff, we can melt it down. And then with that, what do we do with this? I know we do something with it. Yeah, we get these. These are the things we make. The netherite scraps. Now the scraps are useful for the netherite ingot, diamond lattice. This is one of the things I really wanted it for because that lets us get the alchemical chest. And we'll need it later, but. Um, and then we've got some blood magic stuff's going to need it. But yeah, I think we need to, for sure, automate this wheel faster. So we can just throw a ton of netherrack in there. Oh yeah, and if I take netherite scraps with cobalt, that's how I get manillion. All right, yeah, it's gotta be superheated, but I think I can just alloy it too, but yeah. It's like an induction smelter or kiln it. But that's awesome, that's awesome I get manillion. There's a bunch of other stuff, but this is kind of the last thing that unlocks, you know, kind of the next tier. The I-Core, I don't really know much about this. We can get i balls. I just wanted, like, blocks of i -core. Something like that. I don't know. sealant <laughs> anyway so we've got that's starting to come in not bad um i've got more crushed nether egg can you go in there please oh do we have a magnet on turn off so you guys can all go back in there and that goes there okay not bad uh as far as quest rewards Um, let's finish off this one, right? Let, let's just get this done with. So we need four blocks of this. Let's grab some more diamonds. I don't know how many blocks we already have. Uh, we have two blocks plus five gems. So if I put two more in here, it'll definitely be enough. Now it's not hot enough, so I need to take this guy. Hey, don't steal that from me and put it here. Okay. And that should be melting this now. Cool. It's going to take a long time and take a lot of this blazing blood. We're at 160. So it's using 50 millibuckets. So maybe like 200 to do 250 millibuckets total that's pretty crazy it's like a quarter of a bucket so i should be melting more of this at one time probably but that's okay so now we have four blocks worth we can go grab our oh it's over here somewhere in this wall this one and we're gonna throw it 
in a basin. It's gonna be, feel so good to have a whole category done. Pour diamond on it. Can I do anything else with the molten diamond? Because I'm gonna have a little bit extra. Doesn't really look like it. <laughs> this is kind of the only thing I needed it for. Oh, I can uh, make enderium or refined obsidian with it. Huh. Maybe I should get some enderium. I'll just leave. Oh, this poured the whole thing out. Ugh, stupid. Anyway. Hey, chapter complete. Nice. So we got feral flare lanterns. But we finally have a chapter done. And I think we can actually finish the second chapter real quick while we're here. If we look up the power um, and we try to build a, this one, let's build a basic reactor. No, what are we missing? Oh, you actually need the starter reactor, fine. We're just going to take our uraninite. So we've got that plus the stuff over here. Yeah, we're getting quite a bit of this. Cool. All right, this one we can cook in lava. Don't want to like lose this. <laughs> Worked pretty hard to get it. Didn't a lot of mods like if you hold uranium, it would like take damage? I don't know where that went, but what else do we need? Oh, we need a casing. Okay. So I'm not sure if we need to make all of it for the quest. Maybe we do. So we need to make 36 blocks. Okay. So that's eight. It's weird they don't stack. All right, they do stack. I don't, whatever. All right, 20, 24. The stacking is really weird. Something's like that. 28, 32. Done. Quest. No. 36. <laughs> Dang it. There we go. <laughs> we didn't just complete one chapter guys we completed two chapters that was awesome all right i'll deal with this later let's go take you back out oh come come to me magnet where are you Nice. Okay. It's empty. Let's figure out something to do with that diamond. So maybe I'll just break it. Whatever. Um, I need to put this one back. I do not need a diamond thing here, but it's fine. We don't really need anything here. And we're all good. Okay. So something for that. Dilated casing. That sounds pretty good. But now we've completed two chapters. It's pretty sweet. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. If you're enjoying this series, let me know about it. Let me hear from you, and we'll keep making more. I think next time we want to get into foregoing. So we'll make the uh, fluid extractor. We'll automate uh, getting out latex and making rubber, and we can finish off this whole mod pretty quickly. Um, 
I know we'll want a wither builder and uh, uh, slaughter for the wither, so we can just kill him automatically uh, and not have to go farm him all the time. Um, but I do think we have to kill him once to build this. Yeah, so we will have to go out and get him once. We're going to have to farm some wither skeleton skulls. So we might want to make a mob farm that will let us do that. Uh, but yeah, we got a lot of a lot of stuff to do. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. There's a little bit more to this than I thought there was. It's not too bad. Once we get the plastic. Plastic's our first thing on the menu. Then we'll look into the rest of the mod. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time. See you guys later. Bye.